what's going on everybody how's everybody doing this evening i just want to make a quick video about the new ethiopian prime minister dr abi ahmed and why i stand in solidarity with him and i support him the reason why i support him is because he is a man of his word he does he says he he wants to do something he does it and that's what we need in ethiopia and to be honest that's what a lot of leaders in this world we need in this world he he's a man of integrity honesty and he just does, does what he what he's got to do you know and it's it's very good especially for ethiopia because there has been mismanagement after mismanagement for the last 40 years since Haile Selassie died back in 1974 and there's been a lot of criminal elemented leaders such as Malisa Nawi, Mulatto Tashomi, um, part of that Mengistu who he did he did play an element into creating this type of climate in Ethiopia so yeah, it's been leader after leader for the last 40, 44 years. And they fucked over Ethiopia. And I mean, some people say it's the baby boomers and stuff. I will say this, yeah, some baby boomers have fucked over Ethiopia. Ain't gonna lie, man. But, I mean, some so have the, the 60s babies as well and the early 70s babies. I ain't gonna lie. But there's also been people that have been sacrificing their ass off during that time to make Ethiopia better. But unfortunately, they died. So, what happens is the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s, and the 2000s babies and the 2010s babies have to step up and do something. Luckily, Abiy Ahmed is a 70s baby. He's he's trying to do something, and I support him. You know, he he during you have to understand this. This was this was I really respected of him. He was talking about how oh we will not have any ethnic division if you'll be will try to unite Ethiopia, you know, between Christians, Muslims, Amaras, Oromos, Tigrays, Somalis, Yemenis, uh, Gam Gambelas, Hararis, etc., etc., you know, Orthodox Christians, Protestants, you know, and he says, yes, we'll unite Ethiopia, you know, we'll make Ethiopia great again. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And he was saying how, oh, we, we will, we will, bring back better infrastructure for city, city development, and stuff like that. And what happened during that speech was one of these TPLF Wayane simps tried to bomb his ass and literally just threw a grenade during the speech. And then and then during the speech he just looked right at the like right at the at the fire and the explosion. He looked at it for a few seconds and he went right back to the speech and continued about how to make Ethiopia better. And I mean he's just He's 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 an he's an alpha and he's an alpha male, you know, he's an alpha leader. He's not a beta male. He's not a cuck, a simp, you know, like Obama or Jesse Lee Peterson. He's a real, and what we need as, what we need as alpha black males, he's a true definition of an alpha black male. He's like a Haile Selassie or a Martin Luther King, a Malcolm X, a Huey P. Newton, you know, and that's what I respect. I respect about him. You know, and another thing is, is that I respect how he he respects all religions and all ethnicities. He's half Amara, half a Romo, and he's he is a Protestant. He his mother was a Muslim, a Muslim, and his father was a Orthodox Christian, but he converted into Protestant Christianity. And so I mean, he has a so-called understanding about religion and how to how to love one another. You know, and ethnic differences as well which i really respect about them you know without and about how how to have ethnic pride without having if without having extremism which there is a there is a balance between there has to be a balance and i think i think he will discuss about and how to discuss about how to prevent the the tensions between ethnicities while still having ethnic pride which is fine with that you know i have nothing against against that and one other thing that I respect about him is he's trying to, he's trying to help, in especially especially in Ogaden, Ogaden. So it's, that's very close to Dredar. If you know where Dredar is at, that's it, in East Ethiopia. You know, it's it, it's a it's kind of it's close to Jijigia, but it's not that close. But anyways, Ogaden, which is like far eastern Ethiopia by the Ogaden Desert, he's trying to make a. He's trying to make a 
trying to find ways to get crude oil from that for that region, which will help our the economy in Ethiopia. And then he was even saying about how he will try to bring back all Ethiopians that were being getting their ass handed to him, getting getting screwed over in Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Amman, Qatar, you know, all those Arab countries. He's trying to bring them back to Ethiopia, you know, because he's believed that they got fucked over, which they have been fucked over. They've been they've been done dirty. So he's trying to bring them back and saying that you can use, use your talents in your own nation. Use your talents with firms that actually respect you, that won't pay you less than a dollar a day or and then treat you like a dog beat the shit out of you kill your kids you know killing slaughtering you in the middle of the persian gulf or the red sea and just treating you like a 10th class citizen you know actually be with a firm in your own nation that will actually you will actually get benefits and you will actually do something for your own nation and you won't be treated like trash you know you'll be actually true with some respect and you will bring and you will help bring back infrastructure into your community and nation which is what what every nation in this planet needs okay if we use i'm saying this especially towards africans we have we have to use whatever resources we have and try to build something stop with this whole like oh, okay i'm not gonna do i'm just gonna do this or I'm going to depend on Saudi I'm going to try to make it big in, in Saudi Arabia or somewhere else. Like, bro, they're not, like, that's hella stupid. You know, just try try to build something. And you don't even have to live there to build something, but just try to help build build something or some substance that will help family and friends before, which will stop, which will prevent the dependency theory, if you get what, if you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, I overall I think I think this guy's a good man and I support him and God bless him. I really do think that he is sent from God to help Ethiopia and he has a lot of plans and and I think overall he will do good and he will try to bring the country back together. Even I'm very sure he'll help out the whole African continent as well. And God bless Abi Ahmed and I support him. And I know a lot of people support him as well and i'm really grateful that there has been some change in ethiopia as well you know because two years ago i, I was not thinking i never thought anyone from, that there would even be a different president i was i had a lot of low 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 expectations in my humble opinion and i thought that what was going to happen was that nothing's gonna change and then I even was even talking about even giving up about doing these type of commentaries and stuff too like it's not gonna help anybody but you know I I had that optimistic spirit in me which was very very little and scarce but you know I still stayed optimistic and look two years later we have a new they have a new president prime minister and we will see what the outcomes of Ethiopia will be like and God protect this man and you know the fight the fight isn't over yet though to be honest he's still every the average citizen still got to do what they got to do in order to make sure that everything is good you know and secure so yeah I'm out everyone have a good night God bless you know stay safe don't get too drunk it's Saturday night you know just stay safe don't turn up too much you know Get your money, secure the bag. All right, everyone, have a good night.